Go hack and slash, hack and slash. Hack and slash. Uh, I did see a squirrel, but I wasn't able to kill it in time, I don't think. Yeah, the fact that I'm not really paying attention to what I'm getting in chests kind of implies to me that better chests would not be impactful. Oh, you're a... Uh, okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. the It did seem like he was getting poisoned after t uh, doing damage to me. Right, okay, let's see what we've got. Bane Sword 5. So, damage down, speed down. Well, there's no point doing that. Uh, flaming Shot rather than the area of effect. I haven't actually been using the area of effect, really, so... I should do that for the boss fights. Because I'm going to get further back anyway. Okay. Well, let's keep going. And a shop to buy some resources. Hello. Look at all the worms. Rakshasa. Hungry. I have what you need. Berries, berry seeds, salmon. Uh, let's go for salmon then. Delicious. Enjoy, traveler. I will try. Can I swing in here? I can. Is there any downside to doing this? Are you angry at me for doing that? Okay. They're crying. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the downside to this is. Oh. Is there a downside to this? The bed has collapsed. The flock is ready for another sermon. Yeah, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Oh, I didn't actually mean to, Don't you dare touch my love. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. I was trying to attack the thing behind you. Oh, that could be, uh, that could be a bad time. Whew. All right. Steal the devotion. See that? So we're doing... All right. This is a game all about building up a satanic cult, right? But when it says things like steal devotion, I'm like, is it just take devotion? There's no downside. And then attacking the worms in the previous room didn't really seem to have a downside either. All right, I need to remember to keep using uh, my curses because, um, again, the short range of the dagger means that in crowded spaces, the the um, the curse is better. So like here. There we go. And it cleared out the rocks as well. Alright, so flaming shot five. Oh, yeah, there's, there's no point. Oh, right. The reason why you'd go for the Bane Sword is for the extra range. But I've got the a AoE, so I'll keep using the AoE. There we go. Because, again, you're getting further when opening chests as well. Not just on enemies. Damages everything on screen when hit. Diseased heart. Ah. So that is what the diseased heart is doing. Is it's damaging everything on the screen. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. And we will, of course, go back to the other room before going through this door. Seal has been broken. But not just yet. Ooh. I'm going into the boss fight with no further. That's not necessarily a good thing. 
Uh, hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, we already. Yes, we already have. Um. We've already seen Touch of Turua. Although, is it an upgrade to what I currently have? Uh, it is Divine Blast 4. So it's Touch of Turua 5, isn't it? Is that better? So the green arrow up makes me think that it's better, but it might not be. Hmm. I suppose... No, you know what? I'm just going to stick with my AoE and... Oh yeah, I can get further from the dummies. Aha. There we go. So we'll recharge our... Oh, they do break. I thought they wouldn't break at all. Like, I thought the point of the dummies was to just give you a chance to get your further back. No matter what. But they do break. Okay, well, now that I know that, I know to destroy them whenever they appear next. Okay. That's all the rooms done. So let us go into the boss fight. We've got quite a lot of hearts. We should be okay. And we shall face... Oh, we need to destroy some stuff in our way. Leshy! Hello! I grow tired of you, little lamb. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. Uh -huh. Oh. I was wondering whether I'd have to fight all the followers, but no, it looks like I'm in purpose. Oh, okay. Leshy. Okay, that's not an insignificant amount. But they seem to be immune to poison. Dodge roll through. I think I got hit. Yeah, I'm not seeing them be poisoned. Which, to be fair, is a boss, so that's maybe what you would expect. Oh, also, I'm noticing that I am phasing through them when attacking. Like, I'm moving through their body. I think they might also be invulnerable when coming out to the ground. Okay, is that another one? Okay. Ooh. Oh, don't get hit. Ooh. Dodge roll through. Oh, the um, the AOE effect actually does knock them back. Oh, that's a new ability. So time kind of slows down a little bit when you do get hit. But Leshy is almost done. Don't roll through. Alright, well. There you go. Leshy defeated first try. Heart of a Heretic. There we go. So that's the, the main upgrade for the rituals. You have taken the beaten Heart of a Heretic. The Red Crown can feast upon this heart to unlock new crown abilities. Visit the altar in your temple to unleash the true power of the Red Crown. And that is... Door unlocked. And everyone at the camp is starving because I've been away for so long. So we've got planks. 
perfect for walking. And Leshy Trophy, a trophy for killing Leshy. Hmm, okay. Takes gold, though. We've unlocked a new building. Okay. So, one thing I'm curious about is, is there a way to kind of pause the day-night cycle? Or is thing, are things going on continuously? No matter what. Cleanse the non-believers. Defeated bishop bonus, 20% on new items. Lest she fell before you like a grain of sand before a tidal wave. What is a shepherd without a flock? Who can say? Okay, well, that is a successful first run. Well, I say first run. That was more like going through the first area of Cult of the Lamb. So, we should have enough. Oh, everyone's angry. Heart of a heretic. Woohoo! Your followers are starving, but they were uh, inspired by victory. So, yes, Reaper. Great leader, when times are tough, we can cook grass meals. Followers won't like it, but it beats starving. Try it now. Okay. And then... Alright, so you don't actually have quests, you're just starving anyway. Alright, let's cook. Uh, so... Let's see, where's the grass meal? Grassy gruel. 25% chance of causing illness and minus 5 faith, but it will give us more faith uh, because of the quest. And hearty meat broth. Yeah, so let's see. Tasty fish meal. 25% chance of dropping our valuable resources, but a 50% chance of the follow-up vomiting in instantly. And then we've got basic berry bowls. And do... Let's see, we do one more? Yeah, that'll do, right? So, cook. So I wonder whether the grassy meal one actually had the full bar because it was part of a quest. Alright, everybody eat up. And I'll fix your beds because for some reason you're breaking them. Clean up the vomit. And talk to Reaper again. Uh, speak to complete quest. You did it! Truly you're without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. And then receive devotion. Divine inspiration unlocked. Collect it. Uh, let's see. Prison? Offering statue. They can leave offerings in my honor. Stable shelter will collapse left oft less often. Generates wood, generates stone. Send your followers on a holy quest to gather resources. That is, if they make it back alive. Okay. Scarecrow. Prevents birds from stealing. I think we'll go with the offering statue. And the next thing is the tabernacle. Yeah. Okay. So we can build uh, the decoration. Oh, we can build the, the leshy thing, can't we? Let's have a look at the mosaic flooring. Let's make a, a path, right? There we go. You can just hold the, the A button and it'll do it for you. So let's do that. Basically, I like the idea of there being like a, a paved pathway. Uh, remove that. 
as like an entrance. So that's good, I like that. Uh, right. Dig up. Let's keep going. What did digging up do? Oh, he just gives lumber. Okay, let's clean up this. I can't wait for there to be a, a follower that I assigned specifically to that duty of just being like, yeah, I'm going to make you clear up all the poo and the vomit. Because I'm sure there'll be something that can do that. Oh, these are trees. Right, that's what's happening. Is that these trees are regrowing after each day. Well, not after each day, but... Ah, you're stealing. Okay. Alright, well... You know what? We're making a good start. Um... I wonder whether if I want to rearrange stuff, do I just go into the building menu and say edit and remove, or do I get the ability to move it around, or what? Also, there are not enough beds. Yeah, alright, we'll stop breaking them then. No, not that one. This one. Ah. <sighs> Like, there literally is enough beds, it's just that you keep breaking them. You know what? I'm going to build some more beds, so that even if they do break them, they're not going to, you know, complain too much. Yeah, I've, I've got... I have the, the, the money, I just don't have the lumber. Really. Alright. So we'll do a blessing. Ooh, a gift. Bequeath a gift. Very nice. And we'll do a, a blessing. Ta da! See the thoughts. Okay. Yeah, you're you're a good you're a good follower. <laughs> Saw vomit. Am I wrong in wanting to taste it? Yes, you are. All right. Uh, yeah, they're busy doing that. Oh yes, you. Aha. Majul, please spare me. Yeah, you're good. You're fine. You can stay as a chicken. Traits. Lose 10 faith when falling ill. And heals 50% slower. <sighs> well, I need the followers to get new areas, so... We'll just try and improve you somewhat. Um, yeah, no tasks available. I guess you'll just be worshipper. Yeah, because all the stone's gone now. What? What's up? Huh? I thought you were crying or something. No? Okay. Then we'll go to the temple. We'll do a sermon. So, let's have a look at the crown. So, when killed in a crusade, sacrifice a follower. Eat a meal to receive a heart that will depend on the meal. Focus while it's done a crusade to instantly return to the base. Receive diseased heart at the beginning of each run. So there's two that are essentially free hearts. One which is resurrection, one which is omnipresence. So I think I'm going to do the resurrection one. It makes the most sense to do that as like the first ability. It's most in keeping with the themes of the game. You've unlocked a new crown ability. Death is no longer the end. When killed on a crusade, you may sacrifice a follower to be resurrected and continue your run. Well, I can think of a few followers that I might choose for that. Alright, I don't have a uh, commandment stone, do I? So I can't actually do any of these. The ritual. So it's still on cooldown. And now I don't have the lumber to do it either. Sermon. Uh. Face up. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Okay, we gave a sermon. Right. 
So, what else can we do? Uh, guys? Guys? Did you- Barbatos, did you literally just go and have a poo? Oh, they're doing it- They're doing it as part of like a daily activity anyway. So, if you notice them going away from their assigned tasks, as in doing worship at the shrine, it's probably because they need to go and have a poo. Right, well, okay. So, yes, what's up? Leader, skeptics and heretics have made their way into our cult, cursing our way of life, but they want to join. Should we welcome them? Recruit dissenting followers. Sure, why not? A follower has begun dissenting against you. This happens when the cult's faith is too low. A traitor is spreading falsehoods about you. Other followers may also be led astray. Re-educate them or put them in prison to bring them back into the loving embrace of the cult. Or just sacrifice them. You make the rules after all. <laughs> 